uh, you are CTA, that is Certified Technical Architect. So uh, when you have completed that course and certifications, can you please uh, provide some guidance to the people who are looking to get CTA? What kind of questions and whatever, like uh, your experience and your feelings with respect to that, please? Yeah. So I have to um, say that I was the attendee of the first official class, I think two years ago or so, um, with our training started. So there were no experience out there. Ne? All the articles and videos you have today, I couldn't read, I couldn't watch. So I had no idea about this training. I was sitting there with complete different expectations. Um, okay. Now I was thinking, now we will start really imp implementing anything, any, solve any technical challenges, nothing happened that way. So I never saw an instance during the training. So whenever, whoever wants to join this training, please be aware of you are doing nothing in service now. Uh, because okay. in the service, the, one of the prerequisites uh, for this training is that you have um, a certified application developer and also two times any SIS certification. So ServiceNow is expecting you to be familiar with, with technology and with implementing something. So, but okay. what you will learn as an attendee is uh, presenting, presenting, presenting. So, and um, okay. you also have to know that you should be familiar with recording yourself. I was hating recording myself. Uh, I don't like okay. it and uh, and still don't like it. Um, and uh, this is what you will train. Uh, so we, you will train a lot of uh, soft skills, like presenting something, how to talk to your audience, how to present something to the audience in a way that they will understand this. And, and ServiceNow is always putting a finger on this word value how to provide value, value to your customer. This is something they will train you. And uh, coming back to your question, um, I know that today service now increased um, requirements for being a partner and uh, they want you to have some of your company to try to join this training. So, and um, I fear that many employees are pushed to this training, uh, but they, they don't know what, what value they will have from this training. So when you are in the situation that your manager asks you to join this training, then ask your manager whether you will really be able to fill out this role after this training. If there is no chance to fill out this role as a CTA, then you will become unhappy because you learned a lot how to how to work as an as an CTA, how to act as a CTA. And if you are just asked to implement some source code, then this is not what what you want to do as a CTA. And uh, what I also learned, um, um, you will spend a lot of time beside your work. Um, okay. I think at the end, I summed up all my spent time and I came to 120 hours after three months. So that means you have to involve your environment, your social environment, ne? explain to your family, to your friend that you are now starting a training and that you will not be available anymore that much as in the past. Ne? Do you have to explain them why you cannot join the family activities at the weekends or why you have to record over and over again during the night yourself? Ne? This is what I did. Uh, so, and uh, therefore, it's important that you get the support from your environment and everything else regarding the contents and so on. There are so many great videos and articles out there. Uh, I don't want to repeat this here. Um, no, this is what I experienced, and um, I think it's important to know. Um, Amazing experience. And, you know, uh, the experience which you have shared is not written anywhere. <laughs> it's a pure personal experience, and everyone will... Uh, definitely get benefited they have to understand the concept of value whatever you are learning you have to understand the value what value will give to the customer and more of that you will be able to present it right this yep. is the main goal yeah if you know the value that is different but until unless you are able to present it uh, that you will learn in cta and then like uh, dedication you need time and you have to like dedicate yourself, uh, as you mentioned, more than 100 hours and, and so. So amazing. Great. Mm. I can tell you PowerPoint will become your best friend after this training. <laughs> okay, PowerPoint. Great. So all the people who are listening to uh, this podcast, please uh, uh, like uh, get yourself ready uh, with uh, all the suggestions provided by Mike and you have to thank him once you clear it. Okay. <laughs> yep. Thank you, Mike. Uh, let's move to the next question. 